Hey guys, this is Matt with Thrive Off Grid. All right guys, so we're revisiting the Harbor Freight gasifier kit. So what we're going to do here is uh, offer a DIY kit. And this has been completely redesigned from the ground up and we're basically basing the kit on the Harbor Freight five gallon tank. This is a nine inch diameter tank. So this is something that most people will be able to get a hold of, at least here in the United States. But, uh, you know, these come from China, and I'm sure these are offered pretty much everywhere around the world. Um, you just have to measure it. Um, if not, then um, you may have to uh, search your own flanges um, to match whatever diameter tank that you're uh, working with. All right, so... The uh, concept of this particular gasifier is this is going to be a dual fuel hybrid machine. And this is going to be a full blown Embert wood gasifier, but it will be capable of running in a charcoal mode. And that'll be due to a, a special jet system where it'll have a primary and secondary jet system for, for running uh, pure wood. Or you can shut the secondaries off and run the uh, primary jet with the water drip system. And this will be set up with a water tank so that you can add the water injection for, for charcoal. Or you can mix the two fuels together and just run it in uh, the Embert um, downdraft gas fire mode. All right, so we're gonna offer two kits, a dual, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, a raw weld kit, which is basically this kit here. And then, uh, we're going to offer a prefab kit where all the uh, parts that we manufacture, we will pre-weld together and then uh, you'll sh we'll ship it and then you will uh, assemble it. But you will still have to source many um, additional parts like the, uh, you know, we don't, <laughs> we don't ship it with uh, the hopper, the fil fuel or filter drum the uh, Harbor Freight tank, that grate, the uh, the ammo box you see here, all your hoses, um, the Amtec lamb blower, um, you'll need to source that on your own. And then this here is actually an optional component. This is a, 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 a two inch to six inch butt weld pipe reducer, it's stainless steel. Um, we won't be offering that and that is optional. You don't have to install this because they are extremely expensive. They're around $250, $300. But uh, we will uh, uh, give you the source uh, to purchase those from an online uh, distributor. Um, all right, so the breakdown. Um, so basically, uh, we'll start with a hopper. The hopper is going to be built with a 10-gallon uh, drum, but you're not limited to that. You could actually, uh, if you could figure out how to put a lid lid on a uh, tank like this, um, you could uh, do that. You could use a propane tank. Um, the thing is, uh, you're going to have to figure out how to uh, build a lid that will seal. So these drums um, already come with a lid, and they're already... Uh, they already have a, a seal built into the lid, so it makes it easier. And then we're gonna use some latches. Let's see if I got one here. Um, these are the, the latches that we use on the, the DFX, which I don't have one available to show you that's out of the package, but they're sort of like what they used on the old Jeep hoods to uh, uh, latch the hood down. Um, pretty much the same thing. You'll have three of them on there, and th those will serve as a back flash because they're spring-loaded. So you won't have any issues there. Okay, and then you have the the Harbor Freight reactor, and basically we're going to cut this part into two sections: um, your oxidation zone, and then we'll create a reduction zone out of this tank. And then the lower part will be your ash bin, and that's going to be made out of a Fat 50 ammo box can. So that's going to be your, your ammo box, or uh, your ash, ash box. And then that's going to be 
plumbed out to another filter, which will be built out of another one of these drums. And this will be, you could fill that with hay, you could fill it with sawdust, combination of both, uh, you know, uh, grass, leaves, whatever. It's, it's just a media filter just to get the dust in, and um, absorb some of the moisture. Um, and that is, uh, we're going to borrow some things from the uh, versifier over here. So it's going to be built pretty much like this one. So you're going to integrate your the, the blower on top of the filter. And there's a flange with a screen on the bottom side. Um, that screens the dust out of you know from the filter media from getting inside that blower and then there'll be a stand and then there'll be a drain port on the very bottom that's why there's a stand because you have to put a drain on the bottom to drain out um, condensate okay now um, you'll have a hose that will connect from the blower um, to a flare cup and then this flare cup will be mounted onto the back of a hopper. And then you'll have a, an additional, um, you'll have two ports going into the, the filter and one going out to your, your application. And then if you want to, you can add an additional ammo box filter, which we're going to basically borrow the one that we, we build for production units. We'll show you how to build one of those, and this would be good for all of our all of our users so we'll open this guy up yeah and we'll show you how to how to build an, an engine adapter um but this is just a, a project box that you buy on amazon or for for uh, uh electronics um a simple fuel mixer and then this is the uh, the inside of the ammo box so this is the the out port so we have a screen there to keep our we fill this with sawdust so that screen keeps the the sawdust inside and then this is just a input and then it's just a simple flange on on both sides that you can adapt a one inch mpg uh fittings. so this is where the this is where we we put our mixer valve so it'll come out and then your your holes will attach to uh, from here to the engine, um, the engine the engine adapter okay so that is the basic breakdown of of the system All right now as far as the the raw weld kit we will not be welding anything on this including this part here um, we did did jump ahead and we did uh, weld the studs on. These are for your, your legs. Those are the legs there. So when this is all built, you'll you'll fasten the, the legs onto this by, uh, you'll attach the top of the leg to the hopper and then about midsection, um, it'll get it um, bolted to those studs. And that, that, that'll be the stand for the machine. But you'll have to weld your the water tank together you have to weld the flare cup, flare tube together. Um, you'll have to weld the seams. These here are the liners for your insulation. So we will be insulating the unit. Um, that is pretty much key to this. Um, it won't work without insulation. No gas fire will. So, you know, these guys making, building gas fires without insulation. Yeah, good luck. Um, so yeah, and then we have some other fittings here, and you know we'll get on get into all this when I when I start the uh, the next part of the video, which we're going to start cutting that tank apart, and we're going to start welding the stuff together. Um, the prefab kit. So basically, uh, we're not going to <laughs> we're not going to start out with a Harbor Freight tank. We're gonna we're gonna cut the the shells ourselves on the CNC, but we will be using the same flanges and everything. And basically all these parts here, um, we will pre-weld here and then we'll ship it out to you. And then you'll have to source the rest of the parts like the ammo box filter, the, the two uh, drums. If you want the, 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 uh, re the, uh, the hearth core, um, you can order that. 
Um, however, you will have to weld that in or find somebody to do it. Um, basically, I'll show you real quick. That actually would weld on, on this. This here is your, your restriction plate. So without that, that's just basically it. it you just need a, a basically a hole in the center, and that's uh, that's your restriction. And then, uh, yeah, you'll have to source a, a grate. Um, we get them from MasterCar. That's a cast iron. Uh, it's a drain grate. It's 8 inches, and it's uh, cast iron. Um, so we won't be supplying a grate with the system. And then, uh, yeah, we will supply... Well, yeah, th those fittings will already be um, welded in, except for the jet system, which isn't a welded part. It's a, it's an assembled part, and we will pre um, pre assemble that. However, the raw builder's kit, um, actually both kits, you will have to drill some holes. Um, you know, you, that's the idea. Is that, uh, you know, this is DIY. This is you know, you do it, not us. So yeah, you're gonna have to modify your modify your uh your your source parts and and make them work for this project so that's the whole idea um to get the cost down so this is going to be a pretty low cost kit for the raw builders kit this kit here the stuff that we supply which is those flanges um any sheet metal that you see here um, we supply that preformed, and then your um your uh your lower, this is the great um, support flange, your your uh, restriction flange, the water tank, shell pieces, the flare cup, the tube, your stand, um, the insulation uh, liners. So all that stuff is going to be about $750. So, and that'll, that'll come with all that stuff um, shipped to you in a box. And you'll have to source uh, your, your Harbor Freight tank and, and the rest of the stuff. All right, so I'm going to get set up, and then we'll be back. Um, and we'll get ready to start cutting this thing apart and welding it up. 